to my this came to my mind. I was I was gonna do this video about on on Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna do it now before Black History Month runs out. And I, and I thought thought about this because I just seen a show about the field show about this man beating his girlfriend and, and I did a video before about this called Women WTF like what's fucking wrong with women about how women always go out there in the real world and always ask for the same for the same shit for the same shit that they want in a man oh he gotta be strong he gotta look good he gotta smell good all this and that. I was like, okay, look good. I'm like, look, man, beauty's on the skin D. I can, that's how that is. Beauty's on the skin D. Niggas, brothers take, like, dudes take baths every day. That's smelling good. When they put soap and water into their skin and they wash their ass, that be, that should be good enough for, um, should, should be good enough on the smelling good part. And, uh, but, they always ask for this one simple thing in a man. They always ask for this one kind of dude. It's the bad boy. I want a bad boy. I want a bad boy. They walking around. They looking. I want a bad boy. Fuck them damn nice niggas. I hate to say word niggas, but you get what I'm saying. They don't. They always say fuck the nice dudes, but they always asking for the asking for the uh, bad boy. Like they always say, watch what you wish for, because you never know what's gonna happen. And once they get, I keep asking, I want a bad boy, I want a bad boy. And then once they get it, they un then they get locked up into this bullshit and they fall in love. Oh, I love them, I love them. Then they, later on down the line, probably like a few months down the line or a year down the line, like almost a year. The man, this bad boy that you love so that much is beating your ass. And then you quickly sit there and think in your mind, I wish I had a nice guy that would treat me right. And you got your girlfriend sitting up here saying the same thing. Oh, I wish I had a, I wish I had a, I wish you had a nice guy that did this motherfucker beating your ass. You run to your friends and your parents telling them that your man is beating your ass, even in America. I'm gonna do another video about the marriage shit, marriage, yeah, the marriage shit. But it, but it, it's all the same with women. These women, they ask for they not all women, but half these women, a big portion of women, always ask for the same damn thing. They want this bad boy, and they realize how what these bad boys are. Like, why would you ask for a bad boy that's gonna beat your ass? To a point where you almost dead. Why would you ask for a bad boy that can take away your fucking freedom? Why would you ask for a bad boy that can take get take everything a one everything from you? When you ask for a bad boy that is like that, man, that's gonna beat your ass and tell you what to do, you ain't nothing but his slave to you. I thought, man, women walked around saying, I'm an independent woman. If you're an independent woman, you should be asking for a fucking bad boy. You should be asking, sitting up here, oh, I wish I had a man. That, when you ask for men to take the, look, this is one thing. I'm going to tell you all this right now. Don't sit there and say you're an independent woman, but you're a gold digger too, because that does not work out right. You being a fucking gold digger, and you're sitting up here, sitting up here, Gold diggers sitting up there saying, Oh, I'm an independent woman. Independent women work. Gold diggers don't. If you're going to sit up there and be a gold digger and only use men for their money, that's not a job. You can't collect taxes on it. You ain't going to get no tax return on being a gold digger. But if, but if you want to be an independent, independent woman, get your ass out there, fill out an application, get a fucking job and stuff. Sitting up there saying, well, I'm an independent woman, but I want a man to take care of me. I know y'all probably saying, well, that's kind of sexist right there. That's kind of sexist. Well, it is kind of sexist in a way, but it's got to look at it. These gold, women, gold diggers are sitting up there making independent women look like fucking fools. Then you got all these wonderful independent women that are not asking for bad boys looking like fools. And I, it pisses me off with these women, married, engaged, 
dating always end up with these bad boys. As I've talked to women, count, countless women, when they've been in relationships, where it got to a point where the, their men will beat them so fucking badly that they ended up in a fucking hospital several or many times in their life. And it gets worse when you bring a child to uh, bring a child into this world, and that child grows up around that kind of shit, and then that shit rubs off on your child. So when your child grows up, that child's gonna think it's okay to beaten or to be beaten. And ain't nobody breaking the fucking cycle because people got too damn careless and got too damn lazy to think about what should I do. I've talked to women where. They got. Look, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this. Back when I was in high school, back when I was in fucking high school, there was this girl dating this dating this guy. The girl was in my class. I was 18. She was 15. And the girl was dating this little fucked up motherfucker, little like Charlie Park trash to me. Every day, every day I come to class. Every day she came to class. When we came to class, the same class that we sat down, she smiled awfully big because I was in class with her, making her smile. Me and her talked in class. Me and her did we and her, we did our work in class. I always made her laugh, and I was always there for her. I was there. I talked to her like like I was her best fucking friend. Like we grew up together. And then at the time. I ain't know she was digging on me, but she was telling me about her story about her boyfriend. That her boyfriend would dog the hell out of her, treat her like she beat her. She always wore long sleeves, never short. I didn't catch on to light them. The reason why she was wearing long sleeves all the time, the boy was beating on her. She'll tell me it's like, well, my boyfriend beats me and tells me I ain't shit, I'm worthless. I said, girl, that's abuse. And I always told her, I said, look, man, why don't you just leave this motherfucker before it gets to a point where he kills you. And she gave this same excuse like every other woman that's been in abuse. I love him so much, I don't want to leave. I said, look, all you got to do is break it off and roll. Don't be scared of walking away from this guy because he's going to kill you. Plus, my, plus one of my friends was trying to hook up with her. He was more pissed. Me and him was pissed off because this guy was beating her ass. He was beating, he was beating this girl's ass. So one thing was, I didn't meet this dude. But, but one day she told me. One day she came to class. She said, "Joking." She said, "Guess what?" I said, "What?" She said, "I'm pregnant." I was heartbroken because she was pregnant by this motherfucker. She was about to bring a child into this world. It was in a she was in an abusive relationship with this guy. I said, I feel bad for the child because the child was going to be in this abusive, going to be in this family where, in a family where the father was always beating the shit out of the mother. So, she wanted me to meet her boyfriend. So one day I met him. And I, like, I'm a big motherfucker. I'm, I punked his ass. I didn't do nothing. I just walked up. Hey, how you doing? Smiling. He didn't want to set me, get me mad because he knows I was a good friend with him. But he always followed my friends that was trying to hook up with him and all like that. And then one day, man, I kept telling us, I, I said, you need to get away from this dude. Just get away from him. She tells me one day, I said, Joe, I wish this, was, I wish this child was your child. And that mindset, my mind, that that right there set my mind since I was 18. I'm 27 now. That's like nine years back. That she wished that her child was that that was my child she was carrying. And I never forgot about it. I never did, never will. But see what I'm saying? Never ask for something that you can't handle. Never ask for a bad boy because you know when you ask for a bad boy, you asking for trouble. When you marry a guy like that, that's abusive. If you know that this guy, uh, and, and, and it said that it happens, man. You got your friends telling where to leave them. You got your parents say leave them. You got your siblings saying leave them. And you got so many people telling you to leave this 
abusive person or same with men same with men men get in these relationships and they get abused women you know, I'm probably like why uh, yeah right yeah right men don't get abused yes they do just like women y'all never hear as much as y'all never hear as much but it's still there in, in a relationship men do get abused there's been men that got abused so fucking badly they got beat up by his old lady got beat up by his old lady that she called the police on him and he goes to jail and he's beat the shit he got the shit beat out of him and there's not even a fucking scratch on the woman see a woman like I'm gonna say this like it's not I'm not trying to be sexist but it's like this a man can sit there and not trying to fight a woman but a, but a woman can beat the hell out of him and she can call the cops and say, well, he hit me. He all busted up, lip busted, eyes swollen. I actually seen a guy on cops. There was a guy on cops. Fucked up. He was fucked up, man. His grill was fucked, man. They arrested his old lady because she was beating the shit out of him. See, abuse is fucked up when people ask for the wrong damn thing. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if this mother, if some motherfucker threatened you to marry him or whatever, or same with the man. I don't give a fuck if the woman threatened you to marry her or whatever. Abuse is abuse, man. You gotta realize this, man. No person should be in a relationship where their counterpart is beating the shit out of him. You should be taking that kind of uh, abuse where your spouse, your fiance, your boyfriend, your girlfriend should be beating the shit out of you. And people still sit up there and they do this on a daily basis till they are dead. And then the laws, they, they got these fucking laws where if they, pray, look, they got these laws where if a man beats a woman, if a man gets like, Abuse, the whole abusive thing when a man beats a woman the, and the woman want to press charges what happened to let the motherfuckers go back out on the street knowing knowing that this can happen to a point where he can kill her same with the woman same thing a woman can beat a man's ass and, and be so fucking abusive just like a man and then he can press charges and get back out on the street why would you let the abusers back out on the street knowing Knowing that these abusers are gonna go back and kill somebody, and then y'all think in your mind, poor child, only if the police would have did something. You got the police officer, only if we had did something in time. Y'all could have did something at the time. It's called being smart about it. Don't send them to fucking anger management. Send them off in the fucking jail cell. That's how you fix that little problem right there, man. Abuse is abuse no matter what you look at. It happens in fucking marriage. It happens more like it happens in like it happens in high school. It happens that like abusive relationships happen in high school and marriages. Especially in high school because there's been where in high school in, in high schools where there's been women and girls where they got beaten so fucking badly man that they've been beaten to death. And I'm sitting up here watching these kids are dying. She got abused to death by her boyfriend, and they didn't do nothing. Oh, then they, when they abused, that's when they want to charge him for murder. Why wait to yet? Why did they wait to, to to the last minute to press charges on him for something like that? Oh, she got to be dead just for y'all to arrest this motherfucker, put him put him off in jail. Same with the guy. You gotta wait till the last minute. They dead just to arrest the person abuse is abuse man and I'm telling you if you're in a abusive relationship I'm gonna tell y'all get out now don't wait till the last minute say oh, oh I live and love don't come with a fist in the face like Tina Turner said what's love got to do with it love does not come with a punch in the face a kick in the stomach there was a girl I knew that flew to that went down to another state just read this moment went down to another state and I feel kind of bad because I'm hearing all this shit about this guys pushed her down this flight of stairs and all this shit man 
and she was pregnant and then and y'all and I question this why do women stick to that shit why do men stick to that shit and I'm always watching this it's always the same thing if they look you say well I'm not in an abusive relationship but my my man talk down to me or my girl talks down to me that's abusive too a punch a hit is a if they beating the hell out of you that's abuse if they verbally abusing you call you worthless piece of shit and all this motherfuckers and bitches and hoes and all this just tearing you down mentally that is abuse that's verbal abuse it's the same as men, it's same as physical abuse but it's verbally get away from them when they start calling you pieces of shit and all this just pack your shit and go cause you don't need that in your life and I don't see where people, see, and it's funny how there are some, like some of your friends might say, girl, if I was you, I would have lived, but you know your friend is in the same boat you in, or your buddy's in the same boat you in. And they, and they sit up and say, that, oh, if I was you, I'd knock the hell out of them, whatever. No, y'all ain't gonna do nothing because y'all so scared to pack up and go and live your life because one thing if y'all bring a child in this I feel bad for the child because the mother or the father is too damn dumb to fix the problem and, I, and, and it's bad that you pull up the obituaries and you see 25, 23, 22, 19, 18, 14, 12 and all that like all these all these young people dying off because of abusive relationships like damn she dies she leaves behind a two year old son he dies because he leaves back a five-year-old son. You hearing this, man. You're reading in the newspaper and in the bitch you wear. You're seeing it on the on the news. You're watching this out of dishing about it. You're sitting up there watching all this, man. Then you got these... Then you, got, then you sit up and you got these dumbasses like Nancy Grace and Dr. Drew. Well, I like Dr. Drew, but he got to a point where when he started doing that talk show, it got to a point where he ain't no doctor no more. He's just somebody to bullshit on TV, just like Nancy Grace, piece of shit. And it is what it is, man. Why wait till last minute to leave till you've been beaten to death when well, you can go, when well, you can pack up and just move on with your life and live a better life now going through hell and back? Because you got a mind. You got a mind, body, and soul. That voice in the back of your mind is telling you, leave, just leave them, just leave her, just go, pack, go, just go, leave them. You got your buddies sitting up there and your friends sitting up there saying, leave that person, leave them, leave them, leave them. You got your parents saying the same thing, if I was you, I'd leave them, girl. Oh, if you need a divorce lawyer, do you need poor, poor, restraint, not, girl, it's like, yeah, it's better for you to pack your shit. It's for men, it's for men and women that have been in, are in a abusive, abusive relationship. Or marriage. This is what you do. Get a divorce. If you marry, get divorced. After you get divorced, get half your his bank or her bank, whatever. Pack your shit, move to another state and change your name. Because one thing is sometimes an abuser will follow your ass if you do not <laughs> change your damn name. That's how they do it. And I'm just tired of hearing about people in in these abusive relationships dying at a young age because that was dumb enough to stay in it. If you ain't smart enough to pick your shit up and go, then you deserve to die. It got to a point in my life was I got so sick and tired of trying to help people who was been in been in a abusive relationship. It's got to a point where I say, Well, if you're not gonna leave, you're not gonna listen to me, you're not gonna listen to nobody else, well you deserve to die. When you die I'm gonna piss on your grave because you were stupid enough to stick around. And that's how it is. If you're dumb enough to sneak around and let this person beat your ass, then you deserve that ass whooping. You deserve that die. You deserve to die. But then it's like it's like yes, man. Leave. But this has been Afro Joe. If you don't like what I got to say, then move the fuck on. I don't need your shit. If you like what I got to say, leave a comment, leave a video response. Follow me on Twitter at w, uh, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel. And follow subscribe to my mother Wookie. Peace. Love you.